already. You might almost say he's the man who fell to Earth, the Soyuz capsule bringing back one of this planet's more unlikely music sensations. The ground in sight. Yeah, you can see the parachute coming down and the plume coming up from the soft landing engine. Uh, the three former Expedition 35 crew members returning to Earth. Emerging from that return craft, this is Commander Chris Hadfield, the man who just perhaps has made space cool to a whole new audience. Yes, uh, yeah. Boy, that was quite a ride home. Earlier 200 miles above the Earth, Commander Hatfield had handed over after five months in charge of the International Space Station. From this uh, young Canadian kid's dreams to be realized to command a spaceship on behalf of everybody at the Canadian Space Agency and the International Space Station program that, uh, that trusted us to do our job right. Uh, para. Those achievements including, of course, what NASA says is the first music video ever made in space. This is ground control to Major Tom. You've really made the grade. The music and the tweets from space, including musings on weightless life and some breathtaking pictures. This one, captioned A New Dawn, have perhaps generated more attention than the space station has ever had. As they were loading into the Soyuz capsule, bringing them home, it was time for one last twit pick of the somewhat cozy conditions inside. And then they were on their way. The down-to-earth reality is some lengthy medical checks and debriefing at mission control before the reunions and no doubt some offers to perform down here and getting used to being labeled the first rock star of space. Greg Milam, Sky News, Los Angeles.